prostate can be a highly stimulating gland, right? It's where the fluid is being produced that gets stored in the seminal vesicles that's going to come out when you have an orgasm. That's the most scientific way to say cum I've ever heard in my life. Michael Blaustein, where is he going to be doing stand-up? I will tell you, dude. All right, March 23rd to the 25th, I'll be in St. Louis, Missouri. April 6th to the 8th, I'll be in Buffalo, New York. Those tickets are going, so hurry up. April 14th to the 15th, I'll be in Richmond, Virginia. May 5th to the 6th, I'll be in Des Moines, dude. May 19th to the 20th, I'll be in Omaha, Nebraska, dude. June 2nd to the 3rd, I'll be in Toledo, Ohio. Those tickets go on sale very soon. Uh, June 23rd to the 25th, I'll be in San Francisco. And guys, check it out. There's so many more dates to come. So go on blowcomedy.com to get tickets and see future dates. Blowcomedy.com. So you're an actual doctor? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I still what did you think? He was like, we're in? Yeah. You thought he was like a medical marijuana dude, doctor? I'm an idiot, dude. I don't know anything. I don't know. Dude, here's the thing. I think there's, there are, the medical marijuana people is what I'm thinking of. A lot of people <laughs> that like under, like the, the word doctor I is know. like. It's been adulterated. So, so I always Adulterated, tell, good word. Yeah, so Dr. I always Drew's with us today, I'm, by the I'm way. I'm a physician. Physician. That okay. distinguishes it because doctor could mean musicology. You know. Right. Mm. My dad says he's a doctor because he got a doctorate. Well, he's hey, an dad. asshole after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what is it? What, what, what's People that? Are, they, look, they work hard for their PhDs. They're, if they want that term, they're entitled to it. No, they're but not. It, but it confuses <laughs> people, especially if they call for a doctor and you're on an airplane and somebody needs some help. Yeah. People get I very confused oh, about that. Fix my heart. I don't need yeah. you to read me fucking Shakespeare. That's it what <laughs> makes what me so upset. Did? What, what is the doctorate? Doctorate in leaving the family, I think. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> he did do that. Dad, Move to Florida. You're listening. I a lot love of people you. retire in Florida. Good skin. Good I don't for know about the retire, joints. but a lot of uh, we, we, a couple things. Corolli used to say, you know, when people would ask this question, they would look. He's the kind of doctor when they come over the loudspeaker on the plane and say, "Is there a doctor on the plane?" I get up. Yeah. Got uh, it. The other thing we found out early because he and I used to travel and speak around the country is whenever we went to Florida. Our drivers would always be some dude, like your dad, who, who, who <laughs> oh, had three kids, but he is, his family's in Michigan, and they, he was like, oh, yeah, I, I see him. I, I send him. I'm, I'm, I'm an involved dad. I, I send him cards on their birthday and stuff. I, yeah. You know, it's like, okay. okay man. Yeah. I think my, my dad is legally has to be in Florida. He's a retired Jew. He ha- like well, there's yeah, there is a requirement go. for that. I'm yeah. thinking about joining them. I'm, I really Florida. You should. Sort of- I was just there. It's so great. Mm-hmm. There's no income tax. I know it's weird. It, it's it's a lot different. People are happy. You notice that? Yeah, it is interesting. The women are a lot of golf so carts. Yeah, huh? a lot of golf carts. A lot of golf carts, but you can avoid D- that. Yeah, but I, I like it. Yeah, Something about a golf cart, you're like, I can't get a DUI on this, and then you're just parked <laughs> on top of a bird scooter. <laughs> oh, but can, but you can you? Of course, really. But it feels like can you get a DUI on a dirt bike? You can get a deer on a horse. Yeah. Can you? Oh, Is that you, right. Yeah. Horse yeah. and a bird scooter. Uh, any animal. Really. Interesting. Yeah, you can get one on a horse. Wow. Yeah, which is hilarious. That's like the richest thing you can do. Is that all states or just state by state? Oh, I thought you were talking about all state. Or all state no, no, no. Is that every state? Yeah. Is that every state? That guy's uh, voice on all I'm wondering so what hot. state yeah. would be. I think Nebraska, West Virginia, no. I, would, I would imagine. Yeah. West Virginia has like street fights and that's just entertainment. No no laws broken right there. Yeah, it's two cops fighting. You ever seen World Star? <laughs> yeah. um, dude, this is, this is great. Look, we had, okay. You probably already know this. We're stupid. We don't know much stuff. I do. So, so you a, say. He's the dumb so one. So you say. I don't. I don't buy that. But go ahead. Oh, we, yeah. uh, we know. Well, you ask Doctor Drew if he's a doctor. I mean, that is insulting. I feel like that's, that's like a really good question. Johnny Sins, is he actually a firefighter? It's not. It's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just insulting. You're right. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Do you get, do you get mad when uh, people don't call you doctor? I had no. this friend. Thank God. I had no. this friend. <laughs> In high school, and his dad was a dick doctor, whatever what? that. Urologist. Dick, urologist. Thank you, a, a urologist. Mm. That's a that's a better way to say it. The and, dick doctor sounds like a Snoop Dogg album, you know. The dick doctor. <laughs> hey, yo, dick doctor. That's not a good Snoop impression at all. Sorry, that was um, an impression. It well, you it was the doctor. He's here today. I'm gonna go, Fix him. He has a foot fetish. What oh, is wrong with him? Do you that really? He, he I, loves, I'm fascinated by he that. He loves feet. It's he, interesting. He watches. He types. He goes on Pornhub and types in feet. Who are your favorite feet? I mean, there must be wow. there must be some favorite. I haven't seen yours. Uh, mine, I'm nothing special. I'm Take sure. Take them out I'm, of the horse boots. It's, it I can be it. male feet as well as female <laughs> no, feet. No, no. Well, I, oh. I can hold on. I can appreciate a nice male foot, Wait, but I'm not attracted to a male foot. Have you ever yeah, got? Okay. Duped. Have you ever got the catfish where the camera pans nah, up? Bro. And it's female. like you no, know, it's like seeing like a um uh like a, defensive. Like, no, 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 oddly no, defensive. No, but it's like I'm I'm answering the question. Tom Fuck. Brady. Um no, uh it's like seeing an Adam's apple. You can't be duped by that. Like you have yeah, a foot? 
son, but feet, you. I don't know. So, uh, wait, I want to yeah, zero please. in here. So, he's saying that a male foot has distinct qualities yeah, that yeah. are as, as overt as an Adam's apple. It's like a, and, that's and what so, I'm hearing. And so, in today's world of gender fluidity, are you ever sort of. Are you open to Surprised? I'm surprised by looking at where Thinking are we? Thinking right you're now? onto some uh, female foot, and all of a sudden it's like that's well, what I'm saying. Never pan up. And it could be a lot whoa. of different things. Here's the thing: oh, have, the I, boom have I ever been duped? No. Do I feel like I Not could yet. be duped? Yeah. Okay. Of course. And so <laughs> what? What is? I'm, I'm actually fascinated by people with foot fetishes. What? What is it about? Because I, I, as somebody who could care less about feet, are you saying? I'm, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's it's odd. Isn't I it? see it's them like, every day. How could that oh, be? Oh, it's odd. odd cool. No, 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 no. I don't mean odd in a bad way. I mean <laughs> no, odd no, to I'm those of us. We we may be odd and not being interested. But what is it about them that interests you? What is the? Um, I and, and who's I want to know who is your favorite. So yeah, just cue the music game. Do you have a favorite foot? Um, a favorite like foot on a person. Like, I, well, or, type well, of foot for sure. Well, interesting. I didn't even know to ask that question. I yeah. I was assuming you had a favorite person who was attached to the foot. No. No, I'm a, I have a cornucopia. So a lost. Yeah. So it's really the shape. as a word to talk about a foot fetish? It's a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> the like, shape and form of the foot and yeah, nails so like, and toes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So and, I yeah. like probably like a size five to six. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the symmetry. So small, right? That's small foot. Small, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, petite. Yeah, petite. I don't want the like, big foot feet. All, yeah. They're all blurry and shit. No one wants that. Well, that's a dude's foot. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well- no, but five six, you're you're sort of now in a zone where it's not likely to be a male, right? They're, yeah, they're, so that's right, interesting. Right, and then in just in terms of toe uh, feeling, I like uh, you know just symmetry. I like mm-hmm. like a like a Verizon logo type of thing. Just but like, but not straight across. You went like no this. no no straight across is weird. Straight across, then you yeah, all so of a sudden like, climb like a trees. A... Well, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so just a d d. What is it like? Decline, whatever yeah, the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, toenails. I don't like the French tips. I don't like. You know what I don't like? Don't like when when there's too much too much effort in the like Got the it. French tips. I'm out. It's sort of like fake breasts. Correct. Yeah. Too okay. much. It's too it. much effort. That all it, natty. It, little it, bit yeah. of sock lint on it. You don't want it to be uh, synthetic. You don't want it to look Correct. like it was. Yeah. Correct. All right. You want it natural. And, yeah. and, so- <laughs> and I like and I like white. <laughs> Doctor Drew's losing his mind. I uh, and I like white. You racist to, with am, feet too. Am I racist? We yeah, said d- white. You have to be white. Is that what you said? No, white, white toenails. White, white toenails. toenails. No, white that's toenails. Crazy. White toenails. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay, got if it, that's got where it. you draw the line. Yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> I like feet, but they gotta be from Arkansas. And, and so, and so when this this is, I'm really genuinely fascinated. Yeah, please, so, please. so when did Everyone you first is. notice this? Like you know, when when you're growing up, you'll sort of have that moment. When where I, you're like, Ooh, yeah, I like that. When I was at uh, rock climbing as a when, child. Yep. When I was at the, rock climbing. When I was at the beach um we always used to go to the beach in uh how old are you north That's carolina the, it, probably, it must have been a moment yeah probably yeah. like maybe in, in and around like eight nine ten eleven okay in, in there um but i just remember when like you know everyone's at the beach people are scantily clad mm. but i wouldn't i wouldn't when i would check a girl out i would always go face and then feet and then and then i would go stomach and then just nuts Stomach, and by the time so, I had the stomach, I'm already nutty. Yeah. So the, he he's he's being very accurate and honest in what he's telling us, right? Yeah. Women don't understand, and, and a lot of men don't admit that men are like Terminator. You know, they, that, right, they have scan. This, they they scan. We we like symmetry, and we like certain kinds of. We just we yes. just we're just just how our brains work. So yeah. how do and, women perceive us on the opposite of that? And they just, they go to Wells Fargo and they look at how much money we have. <laughs> they they have that. <laughs> But they also <laughs> no no but they have the the uh, the the same stuff that we have the scan so, yeah sure. they they like that stuff but they also add in does he look nice does he look like a provider does he look you know there's all kinds of other things mm. and then of course because they're assessing relationship a little more than we do some of the past their family of origin stuff drifts in quickly into attractiveness you know was. The sort of you know they family see you doing origin, something that like family origin you mean like well, does it look like my dad one, type stuff a common one is you know if if dad was sort of abusive and aggressive what uh, that woman may be attracted to or often finds himself attracted to is a guy that looks like he could protect me from that right so a big uh, aggressive dude which of course gets turned on her eventually got gotcha. you and so right. it acts so out the same I need shit to meet a woman again. who had the nicest dad in the world yes you do as a protector <laughs> or, yes. I mean I use a blow dryer every morning. That is sad. Yeah. But, 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 I thought that went out in the 70s. But okay. So, 
So <laughs> just saying, I'm just saying. Listen, I'll back you up, Trev. I use I use a blow dryer too. I literally had to call, the and then Airbnb. you put a hat on. Well, I didn't do it today. Okay. Um, but no, I I literally had God. to call the Airbnb uh yesterday or two days ago. Sorry, and I was like, I was soaking wet, and I was like, hey, um, yeah, where's the hair dryer? Like, I needed it for fuck to prep for the show, right. and they had to bring me over one. So that's how much that's, I'm in that's need. That's Airbnb well. service, man. No, yeah, really shout nice. out to you. Usually Airbnbs are just like, oh, I've been watching you through my GoPro camera. It's in the yeah, third drawer. Yeah, like, I'm in Wisconsin. How am I supposed to get you a hair dryer? Go, go to the storm <laughs> That's so really fast. That's so true. But, but here's, God, so, so, so it, it actually, it sounds interesting, right? So you're in this sort of provocative environment. People are scantily dressed yeah. on mm -hmm. the sand. You know, the feet are in the sand. Yeah. It sounds kind yeah. of attractive, yeah. right? Yeah, the beach is like his Playboy it, mansion. I don't want to get to, he's getting a little roused. Oh, dude, this is a problem. The blow I, dryer right now. I always say I want to be reincarnated in the beach sand. <laughs> Which, because that's where that moment was. Now, what I'm wondering <laughs> is, no, and that's how this happens to people. Yeah. Was there anything else going on at the time where there was any intensity to those moments? I was rock hard. I know, but oh. it, but I mean intensity, why emotional intensity? In other words, were, you, were there things going yourself. on in your life? Was there something I mean, about the particular people that were there? I think, that neglect? I, I, I think in that moment, Here's the thing, though. When you're that young, mm. everything's intense. I, I understand. Yeah. I, I understand. But usually, <clears throat> many times people can... Was there anything ever before that, I guess? Were you ever down at your mom's feet playing when you were a kid? And so, and any other memory came I re to mind? I remember, yeah. I remember telling my mom that she had pretty feet yeah. when I was I was still in my old house, so I was under 10. Yeah. And I so, remember that So moment. that I think that's kind of how it gets going. the type of feet that I like are my mom's feet. <laughs> also, every just... girl that I've ever dated yeah. <laughs> looks like my mom. Also, I want to fuck my mom. <laughs> He's he's said that. I'll, I'll be going now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, this, is, this is enough, I'd say. God damn. Obviously, we all start the new year with the best intentions when it comes to sticking to a fitness routine, dude. I know I started one, Trev started one, and honestly, they're hard to stick it's hard, to. It's hard to stick yeah, to. Yeah, you got cheesecake and bitches. <laughs> The FitBot app creates a workout program that's personalized to your goals, fitness level, and available equipment. If you got at home a bench press, great. Probably did time. All right. But if you don't have it, <laughs> jump ropes, couple yeah. of shake weights, like they know like what can tailor towards you, which it's, I love about that. Pick a fitness goal, select your equipment, and FitBot will create a custom workout program just for you, dude. You. It's beautiful. Your really? program also changed based on your <laughs> progress, you know, personal progress and for maximized results. Yep. So if you're gaining, they're going to gain with you. A full year to FitBot is less than the cost of a single session with a personalized trainer. Golly. What, dude? So keep your fitness habit with a personalized workout program from FitBot. Get 25% off for our listeners today. 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at FitBot.me slash socks. FitBot.me slash socks. Spell it out, Michael. F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash socks. FitBot.me slash socks. Buh. God damn. So yeah, well, let's so, start but, with but, the first but, thing. But, you said. but that I think that is kind of how it often goes. Now, yeah, what yeah. people don't know, what the theory is, that the some of the sensory visual foot type uh, reception is very close to some of our arousal systems in the brain. So there may actually be it almost be like synesthesia. You ever heard about that? Where people see no, colors and numbers, or oh yeah, hear, oh, that's, yeah. What, that's yeah, yeah. what Kanye says. He he that's right. he can see music. That's right, and, yeah. and it has colors to yeah. it and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and this may be a relative of that, right? You sort of have some wiring there that's crossed over, or one of the other theories is that something kind of emotional was going on, and you were you know admiring the feet, and that kind of gets that intensity gets wired in a little bit. Yeah. So whatever it is, good for you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It makes things easier than many other fetishes, right? It's of like, course. no big deal. So, so but, that, that brings me to my next line of questioning. Like, so there's, so we, there's a lot of like really quote unquote odd fetishes. Like people yeah, are aroused peculiar. by. Well, we, we should, I tried to use a short term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used odd for effect with your, in your case. Right, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, uh, just not normal. Yeah. Well, not, not routine. No, 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 no. Not, not, average, not routine. Not, not your day to day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, people aroused by falling downstairs. People aroused by insects. Yeah, bugs. Yeah, weird. Bugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Again, so, I can't, I, I react with bad words. I say weird, but it's, that's their thing. Yeah, Whatever. That's their thing. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So bugs life gets them gone. Oh yeah, they yeah. say I think they, they don't take out a microscope. But they go with feet, right? The bugs and feet kind of oh, go together. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Picking up the critters. 
Yeah, but don't ruin the feet by stepping on a cricket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ruin or make it. Who Hard knows? to understand. Exactly. But why um, do people... My, oh, right. sorry. I was just going to say, my, but my the question I want to ask is like, is that... Are you born with that? Or did something happen... Right. That you're like, oh, I'm trying to fuck a caterpillar. Right. So that's what we're trying to establish with you, right? One hand, it could be like synesthesia where there's crossover wiring. Right. The other could be something was going on when you're at your mom's feet, something intensity, and that that added to the wiring. Bonds the two we don't, together. We, could be both. Could be. I, I, we don't know. Okay. So, okay. So, yeah. So that- so I mean, can, I'll, I'll bet, as with most things with humans, probably 60% genetics. That's just generally when it comes to a yeah. human behavior phenomenon- 60 percent is that uh, why men alone. tend to date women that resemble their mom in some regard or looks or feel yeah why is that um because it sounds weird but then you look back at the women you've dated and you're like huh yeah it can be it doesn't you know look not always look, let's let's frame it this way without you know uh helping people digest this which is Mom and dad are the probably the two most intense relationships in our life, and certainly by far sure. the most intense relationships as we move towards our romantic dating age, right? Mm -hmm. And so naturally, that they sort of set up our uh, what we often c call maps, you know, our maps of attraction, our maps of love, and how we fit with somebody that we then have romantic interest in. And that fittedness may be strictly emotional character, like I like somebody who's like my mom, whatever. Mm. It may have looks attached to it. It it really depends how that how that experience of being with mom developed. Not not everybody does that, right? Okay. Uh, but there are always vestiges of those relationships in our romantic relationships. Because I always thought that was weird when people said that. I looked at everyone I've dated and I go, oh, yeah, yeah. But maybe they just look like your mom to you because you have this intense template in your head of your gotcha. mom. So women sort of kind of remind you of your mom or something. Who knows? Again, yeah. they, but, but those relationships are very intense. And of course, they have to affect our relationships. Does it later. have anything to do with us sucking our mom's tits for a while? Yes. Probably. I love that answer. Probably. Do people who are uh, and, breastfed with powder milk, is that an altered thing in the long run? No. Doesn't no. seem to. Doesn't no. seem to. Because there's many other ways. Cheated. There's many other ways to get close to mom, right? I mean, the mom could hold, hold the baby, look at the baby. I mean, you're there's literally all... inside your mom. I know. You come out of your mom's vagina. So, so glad I came it. here. So glad yeah. I came here today. And so <laughs> You do. But, but literally- I saw some placenta saved. Literally, the, the attachment is really what we're talking about here, right? right? And how a baby is held and, you know, relationship to the mom's eyes and the angle, all that stuff figures into attachment. It's crazy. Yeah. Interesting. So there's a pivotal point in my life around uh -oh. like 1920 where mm -hmm. I went full boobs. Now I'm an ass man. Mm. What's happening in there? I don't, I wonder about that because it seems like the entire world has gone a little that way, right? Yeah. You hit, you and, hit a phase where you're like, my whole life was Pam Anderson. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, who's this Jen Selter lady? Yeah. I, I don't know. What, I, look, I guess it's like, I mean, do you like different cars now than you yeah, liked when you were 19? Oh, you know okay. what I mean? I they taste fashion. evolves. Fashion. Fa and I think we are infected by the, affected by the environment too. That's right. Fashion is part of it. I agree. I, like if boobs are fashionable. B like butt is fashionable so and also i think we forget how powerful advertising is so all of a sudden like you know 10 years ago women that wore like real baggy jeans and real like little tops and stuff we'd be like what are you doing that's not even hot now it's the hottest thing in the world because advertising is like hey this is hot now so you're being fed yeah these, are these things that uh, presumably have an impact on your sense of arousal really is what we're talking about but you know another thing another theory i have is that uh, between like the age of 11 and 14 or maybe 12 and 14 is back to intensity, right? Mm -hmm. The images that you're exposed to are really zero, like emblazoned in your yeah. brain a bit of your- Macy's catalog did numbers to me. And I Oof. bet, and I bet whatever you were sort of spending preoccupied with at that age still is a preference for you now. Yeah. And it's just how, and how much of that was already preset? How much of, is it the Macy's Magazine that did that? Right. It's interesting, uh, but it is definitely, there's a window there. Cause it, like guys my age, Playboy was all we had, right? That, and that abs like Corolla can't get over that. Really? He's still in that really? mo He's... mode of him. He can remember the names of the girls that he saw unfold out in 1974. Does wow. he still jerk? It's like, his, it's like a little kid's play uh, of like baseball cards. But instead, of like does he keep them? I, I don't think he keeps them. No, but, but he, but he, in his head, he, it's still yeah, the template. Right. I remember yeah. I found a magazine. You was, all, I was always finding porn in the wild as a child. Mm. Was that? I don't know. Me and my friend uh, Kyle from down the street. There was like a riverbank <laughs> by my house. We found a porn magazine one day, and I distinctly remember a page in there because a girl had a thing of um, nail polish shoved up her. We know, of course, she did. and I 
like I was fascinated, but disturbed, but turned on. I was like nine. Yeah. I, I, it, it, so, so there's the, so this is the other thing that's concerning these days, right? Is that we, we, the, the intensity yes. of the images that kids are getting exposed to, we have no idea what that's doing to them. That, I mean, that was my first thing I saw. Yeah, but, but imagine now, the first thing you see is something that comes up on your phone, which is like, whoa, what exactly. The hell is that? That's not where a traffic cone goes. <laughs> so, I, but that traumatized me to this. Not traumatized, but like that's such a vivid image. So, to your mm -hmm. point, somebody's going to open it. It is kind of traumatizing. It, it was just and, so unexpected. And, and weird, the traumatizing material is what then becomes a sort of a, a attraction. Well, that and also weird. that's the standard. That's I the hope bar. you're not putting people things in people these days. So. No, no, okay, no. Good, good, uh, good. Barely my penis. Good. But okay. yeah. when well, your penis is about the size of a of traffic a, cone, of why a, is. Or no, of a. Uh, yeah. Lip gloss, something like yeah, that. Lip, but, uh, but like, or like a na nail polish thing. Mm. Well, how else are you supposed to paint noodle. the camel toe? Everything goes back to the it. feet with him. Feet, feet, yeah, feet, feet, feet. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question here. Why did God put the male G spot in the anus cavity? Well, and why does it feel so damn good? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, I mean, feel it's crazy good. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad for you guys. It doesn't feel good to everybody. Really? Yeah, Ooh. a lot of well, guys I just find it kind of they painful need to or walk uncomfortable. In the ocean. Yeah, good. And uh, the pro the problem is is that uh, let's say you have a girlfriend and she discovers this with you, she's going to try that out on the next guy, oh, and it right. may not go the same way at all. So is the male is the is the is, what is the male G spot? The prostate gland? Is that what well, it's it uh, it's look. There's a lot of nerves sitting on top of the prostate, and uh, I don't have a prostate. I had prostate cancer, so I have prostate oh. out. And uh, I, that's, I don't notice any difference. Thank God that wasn't my thing. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. no, because if I get it, I'm going to leave it in there. <laughs> They have to do something with it. No, they don't. <laughs> they can nope. radiate. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, have, right there, I'd rather have nine years of that. Well, I don't know if you'd have nine. Or anyways. Well, you know what I mean. This is, a, this is an interesting clinical challenge. But <laughs> well, I don't have to deal case with study right now. Yeah, I know. Somewhere at USC, they're watching this episode being like, what is wrong with these two boys? We're getting to blow it. Blow dryer and a you finger up the old. <laughs> we're getting to it. Yeah, blow dryer and a finger up the old hoo-ha. We know what's going on. For but but Simon really are stimulated by that and really like it. And so I, fine, good. I mean, good he times. told me about it and it, the, the pitch on it is very interesting. Like, oh, I would not, I would never, you know, my inner alpha beef jerky mode yeah, was coming yeah, out. Yeah. And then you do it and you're like, I I didn't even know who I was until that moment. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I like was hydroplaning. I was Laughing. It's, I mean, it's crazy. It has I, nothing you, to do with sexual orientation, which yes. a lot of men feel like, oh, I'm going to be, it yeah, means no. I'm gay or right, something. Right. Nope. No. Uh, and it is, makes sense in terms of the biology of the nerve back there. And the prostate can be a highly stimulating gland, right? Yeah. It's where the fluid is being produced that gets stored in the seminal vesicles that's going to come out when you have an orgasm. Come. Uh, Mm. That's the most scientific way to say cum I've ever heard in my life. It's semen. The semen is produced by the prostate. That's the fluid is produced by the prostate, which guys don't understand. Can I ask you a question real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah. Sidebar a little bit. Um, I When I come, it's a lot. But other times people come, it's not a lot. Mm. Is it just because just different like genetics? Different, yes, like, okay. strictly speaking. And, and it's how much fluid is your prostate producing? How big are your seminal vesicles that mix and store the stuff with the sperm? And that determines the volume. And then your fluid status and things like that, level of arousal, those those contribute. But really, it's a genetic thing. Yeah, I think it's a level of arousal for me. Because if I, if I like, um, what's the word? If I like edge myself a bunch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, buddy, well, it's, I'll, it's, I can paint a school bus. Right. Like, and so it's, it's very much like salivate, like salivate fluid, oh, right? right? You see a good meal, you salivate more. Wow. You know? Yeah. Like it's Pavlov's come. Mm, Pavlov's come, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the title of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that is the title. That is interesting. <laughs> um, so I, I, I have a theory. This, this, I'm so happy this, for this you is, to be here. This is so fun. I'm I've, not sure I am. I'm, I'm questioning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. God damn. This is a public service announcement. Manscaped now has beard products and is yep. even going one step further with a brand new Weed Whacker 2. Oh, oh, I just posted it on my Instagram the other day. You know, I was in my car shaving my nostrils. Is that, that a weird place to do it? Yeah. Right. But it looks good. And I can breathe better. Yeah, I can't hear it. I can't see like loose hairs. Loose hairs on a dude. Look, I got, if I'm a lady and I'm looking at a dude or if I'm a dude looking at a dude, I see loose nose hairs. Yeah. Ick. I'm out, dude. Okay. It all starts 
with the Beard Hedger. This thing is an elite beard trimmer, dude. The beard trimmer is tough on hair, but smooth on your beautiful, beautiful face, okay? Pro Kit also comes, uh, you know, with Manscaped beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil, and beard balm, dude, to moisturize, style, shimmer that new beard. Dude, they, they literally just have everything. Head to toe, like, we can't vouch for them enough. Like, they got uh, body wash, they got shampoo, they got- Boxers, bro. Boxers, it's just- Everything. If you're, if you're trying to upgrade your your hygiene, fellas, get on there. Or ladies, you're trying to upgrade for your man. He smell like shit. He look like shit. Babe, my favorite podcast gave me twenty percent off and free shipping using yeah. promo code Stiff. Stiff. Oh my god, babe, you're so nice. Marry me. So go to Manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at Manscaped.com, oh, and use oh. code Stiff. Always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Goddamn. The man is hilarious and knows Dude, everything. Just I have a question. Give it if, to if it. I don't feel a connection with a female, you know, yeah. what's, let's say we're, we met at a bar, it's a one night stand kind of hookup. Mm. I finish within seconds. Of course. Cause I'm, is it cause I'm nervous? I don't I have a good connection, but when I have a connection with a female, I mean, I'm like, who am I? Yeah. You can last Somebody like put a minutes. GoPro on this thing. I'm doing the Lord's work. Like, I feel like I should knock on the neighbor's door to be like, come see how it's done. So, so when you're somebody with somebody new, it's quick. Is that you're saying? Yeah. But yeah. if it's new and I have a good relation and I feel the chemistry, you're you're, you're comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm yeah. not in my head. But and when it's it, quick. But, but if it's somebody I like just met at a bar and I kind of feel like that, oh, trying to go back to my, one of those things and you hook up, it's instantaneous. Quick, yeah. So, so, um, all right. So there's a couple things. Well, one of the things that figures into this, I don't know. If this is what you're describing at all. I'm just bringing it up because I want to push Please, yeah. put this out first. Which is sometimes when people have intimacy issues of various type, being re maybe being really close to someone makes it difficult to be sexual. Oh, uh, now that's I don't think that's what you're describing, and I'm going to tell no. you in a minute what I think you're describing. Um, but it's something that people definitely do, and then we'll cheat with you know people that I can be sexual with, which are often bad choices for relationships. Concubines, the more more arousing, but not not is they they you have to be able to integrate these things in real intimacy, yeah. sexuality, and closeness, right? Correct. And if you've had abandonment, neglect, things like that, it can make it very difficult. But what you're talking about, I think, is something that happens in uh, mammalian systems, uh, and it actually even happens in birds we think bird people um, do say i look like a bird from and the so side. here's a story about chickens okay so <laughs> the well, i'm gonna tell you a story about chickens the federal government used to maintain farms and as part of that maintenance the the president would and his and the first lady would visit the farms every year wow so calvin Clu coolidge this is you know turn of the 20th century when they yeah. did these things it was his time to go visit the farm and uh, he has his entourage and the wife, the first lady has her entourage and they go their separate ways and they're touring the farm and the first lady gets to the chicken coop and the farmer very proudly holds up his rooster and goes, um, Mrs. Coolidge, uh, I want to show you our prize rooster and Mrs. Coolidge, this rooster can copulate 100 times a day at least. And uh, there's a kind of an uncomfortable kind of silence and the first lady says, be sure to point that out to the president. <laughs> and so, and so <laughs> they, she Damn. moves on. The president's entourage comes in. Now the farmer's a little more coy. He's holding up the rooster. And the farmer says, Mr. President, the first lady asked me to point out this rooster to you. She asked me to make a special effort to bring your attention to him because he can copulate over 100 times a day. And Coolidge immediately said, with the same chicken? <laughs> and, and, so, and so the point is when you have a new system we're biologically geared up to get that seed ready to go and get it out there quick wow so we're more aroused by newness so, so if a woman ever laughs me for coming too quick i can say well i'm a chicken there's 99 more no but it's it should bock, be the, it should be the highest level of compliment to her. really yeah so and and by the way, the only higher compliment is having difficulty orgasming because men, when they really are into something, freak out and sometimes have diff dysfunction then. I've and, felt and, that. And, yeah. And women <laughs> often blame you're not attracted to me or yeah. blames themselves. Sometimes and it's that's the, real. It's the, uh, perhaps. <laughs> but more often than not, it's it's that they're over, you're overly into it. You're too excited. So, and you get in your head, you get anxious. Yeah. I get in my wanna, head and I can't finish or things start going yeah, down. Yeah. You want to impress and blah, blah, blah. How do blah, you blah. get out of your head if you're in your head? 
You know, it, it depends on the circumstance, right? It's hard with a new person, right? Because it's all yeah. very, you know, what, what's going on. A lot of stimulation. Yeah, a lot it's of anxiety. Of, you know, should just I try to up? Should I not? You know, yeah, all those, try to stay focused on what you're doing. Stay in the here and now. And, you know. Um, and also be kind of be honest about it all the time, like you know, yeah. be clear and honest. That way, it's not stored in your head, and, and you're, you're not getting it. more anxious and falling into panic and that kind of thing. Interesting. So this leads to my next question: Is monogamy just for women? No, then? no, 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 no. I mean, we're wired up, obviously, to do other stuff, but for sure, we are healthier in a monogamous relationship. Why for is that? sure, I mean, Why all is the that data case? shows that over and over again. Why is that? Yeah. I, we we ha we don't do well on our own. So let's say put it True. that way. Uh, okay. When we are in stability, <clears throat> when we have somebody who's reasonable, containing us. Yeah. When you know nutrition, they, women tend to be very much better with nutrition and yeah. hygiene and all kinds I of mean, stuff. Yeah, I had a baked go. potato for breakfast, right. but when I was dating, go. I would have like eggs. Here's veggies. Here's yeah, orange see, juice. And and they're just they are they're I, I used to say they're a better version of the human being. I mean they just they're more in you know and. Well, and so, and in particular with caretaking and safety and oh, all this stuff, we, yeah, yeah. We, we need that around us. Uh, we just do. And not to say that two men couldn't do the same thing. You could, but it's it's a little more difficult for us. Is that why women tend to live longer than men? They're just kind of, the care is that, inwards and not probably outwards? Probably genetic also. Probably genetic. Oh, they, they are tougher. You know, I was in the Wadi Rum Desert doing special forces. You've seen this TV show I did. And we trained with special forces in the Wadi Rum Desert, 120 wow. degrees. I ended up in the hospital very quickly. But there was women in our group. Uh, some of them were like Olympic athletes and things. And obviously they did very well. But they were just like like Hannah Brown, the bachelorette was one of the – and she – First day, I was like, "God damn, women are so fucking tough. They are so tough. Yeah, holy crap!" And, need, and it just impressed the hell out of they me. They need to have a baby. Like, I think that's why. Uh, like, there's one pregnant XY male, and the species would end. Done. Yeah, a baby comes out of the vagina. I mean, can you? Even, I can't even. I wouldn't. No. no. Yeah. Right. Like, breathe. I think like, that's no. where most XY males would react. Yes. Um. So, is, but, but the the problem I find with. I'll just make it me. The problem I find with monogamy, obviously, is what everyone finds because it's the chicken example, right? It's like you're yeah. with someone, you have stability, it's awesome. Mm. And whatever that timeline is, it you get fatigued. And you, you go, can. cool, I'm trying to fuck mad chickens. N uh, you, I need more that. chickens. No, I understand. Clip exactly and, that. And he, I have two pieces of advice for that. Yes, sir. One is fuck mad chickens when you're a lot younger. Yeah. So you don't uh, have that same thing when you're 40 and 45. Right, I, I have no patience for midlife crisis. Fuck that shit. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. That that's yeah. you. You should have done that when you were twenty, and you you cash that out. Now you have some. Now you may have three kids or something. That's it. That's your responsibility. There you go. Yeah. And, and by the way, back to monogamy. It's much better for children. And that's the part of the main course. reason we've evolved that way. Right. Now you could easily attack monogamy. I understand, and we live a lot longer than we're supposed to. And sustaining monogamy for many decades is mm, unclear that that was part of the plan, but. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, I've been married, Jesus, I've been with my wife since, like, we've been married for over 30 years, been together, like, close to 40 years. Oh, I love that. And the one thing that that has sustained things for me is, A, a you know, make sure it's a person you're going to be excited about being with every day. Sure. Yeah. You just, I, you just like, it's, you're so into that person that you know that if, if I'm this excited today, there's no way I'm not going to be that excited tomorrow about this person. I love it, that. It just, and it becomes kind of yeah. like recovery from alcoholism, just one day at a time. If you're, if you're that into this person today, you're probably going to be that. Do you into think you tomorrow. knew right when you met her or was it kind yeah, of Yeah, I did. I, I had some very odd experiences too. Really? Yeah. That's, very odd. That's what I always fear is like in dating go, is this the right person? I, I'm not saying that everybody should be like me with, uh, you know, lightning strike stuff. In fact, that's, right. that's generally dangerous oh, like, really? because lightning strikes sort of come off of traumatic stuff in your past that's where that kind of like love bombing comes from. i think where it's like yeah, too much all at too, once well, yeah. yeah but but whatever yeah. it was it was the it was just to me it was more that it was like odd that i was i needed to talk to this experience this person it wasn't like it was the most attracted i've ever been to anybody in my life it just i have to i have to talk to, i have yeah. to do something with, with this person it was very weird and was she the same way towards you immediately or of course did, not <laughs> really <laughs> but, but i think that probably fed into and, and that's, you and yeah. that's very common very yeah. men men are much more likely to experience love at first sight. Much more. Well, yeah. Well, I think it's over love time when women go sight. like, oh, this guy does have everything. You know what that is? No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was just going to ask you, wh why do you think that is? Oh, I, because they, women are Point. more de deliberative in their... Look, because of the way we evolved, women have a lot more to lose with their mating choices, right? right. They have to, the resources of the child and the caring of the mm -hmm. child. They need to be sure they're with somebody. They can't necessarily 
Uh, sometimes they just do, but they let the lightning strike of you know drive them, and that's fine. But there's usually a lot more sort of building that goes into their sense of when they finally are in. Right, that makes total sense. Yeah. God damn. This show is sponsored by Better, Better Help. Help, dude. What is Better Help, Michael? Uh, here's the thing, dude. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing, dude. That's why you need BetterHelp.com. The real world is scary. It is scary, full of honk, anxieties. Honk, I'm alone. A bird just shit on me. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm my most comfortable self at home. That's when I want to express myself and be vulnerable, you yeah, know? comfortable. And that's when I talk to a licensed professional therapist. Yeah. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule, okay? Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Let me tell you something, dude. I did BetterHelp and my first therapist, very, very nice woman. We, just, we didn't max. Chemistry was a little off. So I just got a new one, lickety split. There you go. Super easy, dude. Super easy. Okay. This is the great, great, great betterhelp.com. So please go find some happiness. So discover your potential today. Get those feelings off your chest at betterhelp.com slash socks to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash socks. Kiss me. God damn. Um, what happens when we all have AI girlfriends? Do we just, does society just plummet? Because they're no, coming. No, society goes up, but species ends. The species ends. I, I, what about, what about, you know, really crazy good VR porn? I'm worried about that. Here's the thing. One of our. And with feed porn too. Imagine yeah. that. Oh, but he daddy, did that. He did that. something, daddy. We I've already a, done it. We have and an office incredible. Oculus, you know, share the wealth. <laughs> office Oculus. Oculus that Jack brought in, sick man. And then Michael used it and he used VR foot porn. Is, the, is there like VR? I, I don't know anything about this. Is there like Liar. VR? It is. No, no, I really don't. I'm I, joking. I'm joking. I, but I, I'd be interested. Is, is there any, is there, is there like free VR porn, porn? Like there's free yeah. porn yes. on the yeah. internet? Yes. And it's all VR, VR. All it's, VR, VR. Oh my goodness. If you've never done it, I mean, you're like, yeah, how good can it be? And then you do it. I only did it here. Like not actually with, when people were around, but I was like, this is fucked up. This is not good for my brain chemistry. Yeah, I, I got to wear That's, this. I'm worried about it. Dude, yeah. It, Especially it, you're 14. You'd never yes, come out. Yes. Because yeah, you, you, yeah, you go to Best Buy and you're like, dad, this is for the tennis game I want. Yeah, no, it's Pokemon not. Go, Pokemon Ho. But I think it's just, it's, this is your reality where you, why would you leave the house? I, I know. I, I worry like, about it. The world outside is tough. Everyone's mean. I get rejected. <clears throat> oh, and then man. you just come home. Is there, and is just there the <clears throat> same kind of like dial in preferences kind of stuff yes. in the VR? It, it's, oh, it's pretty boy. getting more specific. It's, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty dialed in. And I will say when I did it the first time I had, I had a girlfriend and I'm telling Left you. Left her immediately. Oh, gone. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> why, why do you think? Well, yeah. Four, four weeks later we broke up. No, but like. How were her feet? But phenomenal. Okay. Um, but what I was going to say is it. It triggered like that, like an insane amount of guilt. Oh, like because you're cheating. I, because I, I, it felt so real. Oh my like, god! Because wow. it starts, you know, how, like you watch porn. There's like, there's like a narrative. I, I don't use, watch I it. Skip, 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 skip. Man of the Lord. But I'm telling you, when you do the VR stuff, the narrative is like the fun part because you're like, you're just there in a POV thing. You're on the bed and some girl going on a date. Yeah, dude. Some wow. some girl just is walks it, is in. Is it all POV? The VR stuff? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, and it, is there was, stuff for women too? <clears throat> like sort of. Ah, who cares? But um, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, definitely. No, for There's sure. There's sort of POV with a male coming at them. Yeah, I want to actually watch that. Yeah, aisle four, Home Depot. There must be for gay men for sure too. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what's what's the what's the craziest part? Well, there's two two pieces. Of this one is obviously it's gonna get it's gonna get so much better. But two, the craziest part ever is when the girl's on top of you, and then you look up. You see her up. Uh, like you so, see so the it ceiling change, fan. It changes it, the POV yes, when you're looking. And you see everything. The and what's wild, yes. and I said this before on the show, but what's wild is when they will, they'll tell you secrets when they're like riding oh, you. Geez. They'll come close to you and you hear it only on one side of your head. And it just goes, she goes like, God, you're so big. Oh. And it, it is. That's why I don't listen to porn with dude, volume on. I can't oh, get my ego no. that high. Dr. Dr. Drew, Drew, this it sounds is scary to me. Cray it, when you do that, you go, oh, I have a girlfriend. This is my yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. Of and course. then you take it off and your dog's watching you and you're it's fucking weird. But like. And you're in a Best Buy. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and they go, do you want to buy this or not? You go, clean so up on us. Is this spreading around? Are people getting slowly? On this? Yeah, I, I think, think slowly. the oh, I think once you're able to do it on your phone without buying an Oculus, that's when we're all doomed. Because I think the thought of buying an How Oculus. How do you do it on your phone without an o Oculus? Well, I'm saying like once they like find a way to It'd do be like that. A, 
Well, Apple's releasing a VR headset sometime this year, and I feel like that's when I it's going to really probably take people off. People don't Why? want, like, Why? the just thought of a flashlight sounds price. great, but you don't want to buy one. You're like, that's insane. But once you have it, you're like, I already have it. Yeah, but well, I think the thought of buying <clears throat> Oculus, you're like, that's too much. That's crazy. But if, if your phone can just naturally do it, just, you know, for whatever mm, yeah. reason, but, uh, but to put Gabe's, a pillowcase over your head and you do it. But to Gabe's point, when Apple does it, people have such an affinity to freaking Apple products. They want it. They... Anytime Apple drops anything, they, they need it. it they That's trust true. it. Yeah. Like, oh, I need it, a watch now, like a smart yeah. watch. Dude, yeah, I got I got out. a freaking yeah. Apple Watch. I don't even wear it. Like I, I, it looks cool on the charger, but I don't even wear it. I did mm. it because Apple did it, and I was like, cool. Um, I'm part of the Apple family. But as soon to as they fair, do that, I dude, love their products. Yeah, yeah they're great. Fair. They're so great. Yeah. Well, I think the the brand familiarity will make people like want to buy it. Because yeah. you buy an Oculus, there's one thing you got in mind, and that's VR. Porn, okay. get help. All right. Don't. So now I know what that means. Good. Got it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. I see that sitting around somewhere. I know what that means. Oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not. It's yeah, not, not for the golf there. game. It's oh, not for it's boxing. It's so funny. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, they're not over there doing Mario Kart. You know, they're just driving like this. You have you have those games too, and I'm sure they're great. But in, uh, inevitably, when it turns, what's you know, that going to do to a fourteen-year-old? Like, oh, I mean, dude. why would you want to try in life when you have that? You you have to ask a girl a prom, and she's like, "Ew, you, you smell like onions." You should be t telling these kids it's like heroin. Don't try it. Don't do it. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's a slippery slope. I used to print out porn photos of Larry Pam Anderson. That was my girl, and I would put it in a paintball magazine. I was like, "This yeah. is my VR." Did you see uh, the documentary about her? Mm, oh, Pam and oh, Tom. No. I, I saw the I saw the promo for, it, but I never saw it yeah. on Hulu. On uh, Netflix. I think on Netflix. Oh uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, I yeah. but I turned into an ass man. Oh, those you don't days like are anymore. gone. Yeah. You know that chapter's behind me. Nah, it'll circle back. It's like fashion. Oh, it'll yeah. come back for if you. If they man. do a documentary on Amber Rose, I'm there. Ah, uh, okay, got it. She yeah, got both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, are aliens real? I don't know. I you know when I I <laughs> I, I think I don't have a real strong opinion either way, but I do believe that there are that when we find aliens. The first thing we're going to find is like bacteria or viruses or something, you know, non, you know, Oh, that animal. is true. We think they're just going to show up just clean. Yeah. Oh, so they're going to, it's like when the colonialism people gave all the Native Americans like a uh, no, like no. smallpox Oh, yes. Shit. There's going to be that problem. I think there's going to be that. It could be. But but I really think that w when life exists in the universe, it, it can exist more like that. It's not going to be a big green man. It's going to be No, a it's going to be like some weird bacteria or something yeah. and that's about it. Or maybe maybe somewhere there's something more that's come together. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm really hoping for the girl from Futurama. <laughs> Them with three breasts, three like breasts, that. one eye, dude. Mm. Katie so, Seagal. So, do you have a, <sighs> a distinct call that somebody called in that you still like keeps you up at night, or, or, or? No, no, because every night they were very intense, right? And yeah. we did it for thirty five years, of course. Yeah. Is there is there one that we were like, oh my god? Like, well, people always ask us this, and so we would we Adam and I particularly we just sort of picked one. And really? sort of, okay, well, that's, we'll just answer with that one because gotcha. every night there was something that really got us. Yeah, Lord. Um, and this was a guy who. Uh, and it had all kinds of interesting chapters to it because it was a guy who was, he goes, look, you guys uh, give it, have an open forum here. We're supposed to ask your questions. I want to know why people judge me for my open, loving relationship with my partner, Brutus. And so we're like, can't imagine. He goes, he goes we're monogamous. For it's like, it turned out Brutus was an Akita Kali mix, okay, as a dog. Uh -huh. And uh, he wasn't just having sex with Brutus. Brutus was having sex with him. And uh, we were well, we like, know what wow. It was. And we were just fascinated. <laughs> we we're like, whoa, this is interesting. But one of the interesting thing was the women, our producer, and the call the call screeners went ape shit. They're like, this is a this is, man needs to be killed and and hung up, and he's he's just damaging this dog. And and uh, finally, after just you know, we kept him on the line for a long time because we were just curious, like, what is this? Yeah, he exposed yeah. me to this whole world of zoophilia, and it, it's you know, is associated with like extreme deprivation in childhood and things. Very oh, interesting area, but yeah. Yeah. God bless them. And um, and at the end of an hour of the, of our staff sort of being abusive to this guy. Adam finally goes, hey, he goes, cut it out. He goes, who would you rather be? Would you rather be Brutus or would you rather be pulling a sled in the Iditarod? Who's got a better line? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, got, your, got a point great. there. Adam's so funny. So, wow. so that was that call. An hour. So we, what, yeah, we kept on for at least an hour. So what was the end, the takeaway there? Takeaway was this is a thing. There's a yeah. community out there and um, congratulations. And, but that, but that, that people react to it very fiercely. Of course. And I understand that it is taking advantage of an animal, right? That's sort of how they, it's being taken advantage right, of. Right, right, yeah. And, and I get that. I get it. Um, wow. So you, you obviously know your career is based on just knowing a lot about 
relationships and sex and the human body and all that kind of stuff. Does that make you uh, better at sex? And if so, can you help us? Should we call my wife? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. yes. Why not? Yes. That's hilarious. All right. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. It's just me. Why are you asking me this? <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey, so I'm on a podcast with a couple of young gentlemen, and they have lots of questions. Well, hang on. I'll put you on speaker, okay? You're on a podcast, <laughs> right? You cool with that? Okay. All right. So she's cool with it. So here she is. Everybody meet Susan. Susan! Hello, Susan! Hey, how are you? So good. God damn. Let me tell you something, Trev. Tonight, dude, I'm taking Luka Doncic to score more than 26.5 points or Paul George to have more than 7.5 rebounds, Kevin Durant to have less than 6.5 assists, and Steph Curry to have more than 3.5 freaking three-pointers made. Definitely go on the over on that. So, what app am I going to use? I'm going to use freaking prize, prize picks. picks, okay? You know why? Because you're competing against yourself. But how does it work? I don't know. You pick two to six players, and if they go score more or less than the prize pick projection, you can win up to 25x your money, dude, on Golly. any entry. Yeah. Any entry? Yeah, dude. So no competing against other people nope. since you versus projections yes. available? Yes, dude. Wow. Prize picks offer projections on any sport that you watch, including NBA, NHL, MBL, freaking, you know. MLB. Con not fighting, NHL, whatever you want. PGA, college football, esports, MMA, and more. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less, dude. It is easy, okay? It's easy. Download the PrizePix app and go to prizepix.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with promo code SOCKS. Did you hear me right? Because yeah. I think you heard me, dude. So if I put in $100, it'll yep. match my $100. Yep. And all you got to do is use promo code SOCKS. SOCKS, that's it. Golly! Okay, so don't forget to enter code SOCKS to sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100. God damn. So, of course, these gentlemen, have they're young males. They have lots of questions. They're trying Both to figure up. shit out. Susan and I have been together for 40 years. She yeah. produces a, a streaming show now I do on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 3 o'clock Pacific time. Plug she, it. She would kill me if I didn't say that. Ask Dr. Drew. Called Ask Dr. Drew. Am I holding the right end of this? Yeah, 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 yeah. it should be this. Try this. So say it uh, again. No, no, no. You were no you're right. right. That's right. Yeah. All right. Ask Dr. Drew. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and and can you hear the gentleman? Introduce yourself. Uh, yeah. You have Trevor and Michael on the phone. What's up? We have a question. You guys have been together for 40 years, <clears throat> and your husband is a, a first of all, a stallion. Yeah, just, just, I mean, just a silver fox of a man. I'm sure he's packing. I got to ask him that question. They're, they're butting you up for something here. Butting I'm not even up sure question. why. The man teaches about sexual chemistry, whether it's in life or in bed. Is, is the man better in bed since he's a professor? He's got that PH emphasis M on the D. MD. Emphasis on the D. <laughs> Long point. He is good in bed. He knows anatomy. He's, <laughs> he always has. Um, he has skills. Um, yeah, he's always been like that. Oh, that's amazing. That's so incredible. Good. That's good. That's good. Right? What's, that's your, what's, what's his best position? <laughs> what's his best position or yeah. my best position? Right, because, <laughs> right, because oh. my best position is her best position. Wow. I, that's all. I don't have a... That's a marriage right there. That yeah. is a marriage. That's the most beautiful thing you've ever heard. So it, I, think, I think that as far as positions go... Um, some people have their favorites, but we, we tend to move around a lot Ooh. and change positions. Ambidextrous. Yo, Ambidextrous. that's beautiful. Like a military yeah, family. We're moving around. That's uh, awesome. This Thanks. is great. One, one more question and we'll let you go. Oh God. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a wholesome question. You guys have been together for a very long time and Trevor and I are both very, very jealous of your connection and your longevity. I want love. If, me too. We both want love. Um, what are, what's a, what's a piece of advice you'd give some young gentlemen who are trying to find love and longevity and, uh, finding the chemistry that both of you guys have? I, I want to say, first of all, thank you for asking her that question. Because very few people actually ask her that. I think she would be a good source. So of course <laughs> you really, what do you say? I don't know. People ask us this all the time and it's always really hard to answer, but, um, I, I found Drew after experiencing a lot of bad experiences with men. Uh, he, he was my soulmate mm -hmm. and he didn't know it, but um, we dated for a long time. And when we made the decision to get married, we basically knew that it was time. So you have to be patient. Dating is 
uh, it's a, it's sort of like a trial and error to make sure that you're, you're, uh, compatible with somebody and you have to make sure you are before you jump in. And, and there are ups and downs. I mean, we had ups and downs while we were dating, but we somehow came together and ended up realizing that it was a good match. <laughs> Which it always was. It just, we were, I think we were stupid 20 year olds. I was anyway. Really? I mean, I we started dating when we were 24. Yeah. We oh, wow. We were 31. Yeah. So, was it straight from there, or was there times where you dated, took a break? Breaks, breaks. All over really? Place. I can't even remember. It was so chaotic, I can't even remember. Wow. Yeah, they had to go that. fuck other chickens. But also, when, you know, when we got married, we were ready. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we also um, are still compatible for some reason. I don't know why. For some reason? It's, it's very strange. <laughs> that's, that's what my therapist told me. He said, I don't know why I'm with my husband, but it just makes sense. On paper, it doesn't, but I can't tell you why, but it just makes sense. And Drew's very passionate, and men have to be passionate. They can't, because women need that. They yeah. really need that. Yeah, that's a good that's a good note. You have to let your no, wife, your sp- partner know yeah. you're attracted to them all the time. Yeah, and he's good looking, so it was really easy. To yeah, he's together. so hot; it's crazy. Also, does he have a big, silver bullet? Does he have a big penis or no? He has a ample penis. <laughs> ample. <laughs> I like it. He was actually embarrassed to ask you that question. I was not. I wasn't <laughs> asking everyone, dude. I yeah. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Susan. Right, thank you so much. So nice to meet you. And where can they watch the show? Look, yeah, you can find uh, Doctor Drew's uh, live streaming show at drdrew.tv. Ask Doctor Drew. There you go. Beautiful. She produces it and does a great job at it. So. Awesome. Susan, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Ta-ta. 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 I love also, that. Also, uh, the, the, this, your audience would like a thing I do called After Dark. Oh, with, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Your mom's yeah. house. house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. where we know you from. Oh, well, from After Dark. Yeah, really? well, like all that stuff is yeah. like. You know, because we just came up kind of watching like Tom Segura and all those guys, uh-huh. and just like so seeing that. I, I can't. So I feel I'm so privileged to be a part of that world. It's, it's crazy. the coolest network to be in. Yeah, we got far. to work with Tom recently and, up in and, a festival in Canada. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, was Bert there? Bert wasn't, he but was I, not there now. I just hosted the roast of Bert Kreischer actually. So Bert's the man, and getting to know him has been really fun too. Yeah, I I was the first person to get him to tell the machine story publicly. Really, really, it was on Love Line. And I was dying, and I said, "You got to." I made him come back the next night and say it again. I'd never done anything like that's that. I said, "Come Honestly, back tomorrow night, tell that story oh, again." Wow. That's where some of the best and, stand-up comes from. Some like, dude, do you talk about that on stage? It, I was like, no. It, and then I said, "That's your movie, dude. That is your movie." And, then and it, sure enough, coming oh, out in like a month mm-hmm. is his movie, The Machine. <laughs> so you need equity. Well, he he he. I don't. It's, he, it's his genius. <laughs> number one, he called me and thanked me when he got the deal to do this. That's awesome. Uh, and but he he did tell me he'd give me a cameo, and then he didn't. Burr, what the fuck's up with that? That was my <laughs> next question. Was did he at least cut you this quick no. little cameo? No, but they were. To be fair, they were in Serbia doing this thing. So yeah, that is probably was a, that's not even a real play. I don't think cameos actually even happened in that film. So so a lot of younger fans here that are listening, and also uh, Trevor and I would like to know this. Um, is there techniques you can do to not ejaculate fast? Uh, if you're a premature guy? Yeah. It, uh, there's Can't all really kinds eat. of things, right? Uh, prepare your partner uh, because they, they cause if you're with somebody long term, you can work it out with, <clears throat> with that partner, right? Okay. And, like, and they can do all kinds of ways. You could kind of figure it out yourself. You can pull a bullet from the chamber before you go into battle. Some guys may need to take more than one bullet out. There we go. Wow. Get a musket. Okay. Number one. Mm-hmm. There are uh, numbing creams that actually do work. Use Try those. Um, so fun. Uh, you can put a condom on top of that, and that sort of desensitizes the thing even more. Jesus. Yeah. They do um, fucking with someone else's cock. You're not even feeling it. it pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> um, there are medication that can delay ejaculation. There's a medication? The SSRIs tend to do that. And so they used to, there was a whole movement in the 90s to really get the medicines approved for that effect only um but you can talk to a doctor about that i, I wouldn't do that myself yeah. But, yeah. but that's there happens uh <clears throat> let's think what else I, I think the main thing is whether you're a delay or a too fast it's about working it out with a partner yeah it really it only becomes a problem with your first first go around like we were talking yeah. about it, yeah, if it keeps building up, then it's a problem. But it is funny to sit somebody down and be like, just a heads up, I finish very quick. Well, I wouldn't, I, I'm not sure you, ha- you have to have that conversation. You can have it in the heat of battle and turn it into a right. thing about how attracted you are. And yeah, how, of course. You know. <laughs> you, if, you, if, you, if you open an ego up, if you just, you push it up a bit, you're like, wow, you're so hot. I'm thinking I want to come fat. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a big, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Sit there for three seconds, like, 
I'll get it again. But if you, that's <laughs> well, that, that's the whole thing that, that you can also do those sorts of techniques. But yeah. I, I find guys that are really fast, it doesn't really work very well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think this generation is too cocky. So they meet a girl at a bar and they promise them the night of a lifetime, you know, they'll take you back to pound town, girl, me and you, population us three. Who's the third, right? And then you get back to your place, you put all this expectation. And then it's like, one, two, three. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. And she's like, what was all that? was all that build up or like you know even just through messages like when you, you meet somebody yeah. it starts to connect and one thing leads to another all of a sudden you're like i wish mm. you were at this home depot right now you know and then it just gets the tension too intense too intense maybe it's yeah, too much you, too much what, pressure what you do or my what i you under promise you over deliver oh, that's true in everything. Under promise. everything everything in life good strategy are you good at sex i'm i'm cool <laughs> People I, I don't. It's, it's it's interesting to hear you guys report this because I, I did not know that that that's sort of a thing that's happening right now. Yeah, this this bravado. I that's think new. some and some that's not. new. Well, I think it's a, well, I think it's new maybe because of all, the whole like porn consumption. It's like, well, oh, it's I a can porn, do that. and it's also the way you're describing it. Some of the the electronic media, how you build things up. Yeah, well, I also think yeah. people are feel more comfortable behind a phone, so they won't say this to a girl in, exactly. in person. Exactly. But then they're. You know, you it's, just, more it's, it's sexting. It's just sort of a sexting technique. Yeah. yeah, it's not really what it's you're feeling. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Right. What is post nut regret, and why does that happen? What a good freaking question. Um, because <laughs> like, what happens in your brain? Well, there's a there's a there's sort of a you're used to since you were a young man. Uh, feeling shame after you masturbated. <laughs> That's really? sort of a natural thing that happens. People feel ashamed and embarrassed. Oh, and yeah. What was that all about? You know, because you're you're not in your normal brain when you're overcome by That's what I'm no, you're the like, Hulk. You, yeah. But and no, so everything's blocked afterwards out. you go, oh my God, but this I'm disgusting. You know, shame. Yeah. Of course. Um, so you close your but, father's yearbook and but now you <laughs> <laughs> some people are actually disgusting. <laughs> so yeah. so but then now you've brought another person into this, right? Yeah. And you're super attracted at least until you're not. And then you don't yeah. know what whether this is really somebody you want to have been with and what yeah. might you have done and could you have hurt this person and now am I going to have to continue with this? There's all kinds of things that go into having had sex with another human, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it well, was, I think it's it's either that or even even in watching like uh, just porn. You, like the second it's out, I, I look at the screen and I go, what is this? Get yeah, this. Yeah. I need Chick-fil-A, Jesus, and yeah. a hug from my mother at this given moment. That's right. Well, with clothes on. Yeah. But it, it's instant. It's yeah. not like, oh, there it's coming back. Like a hangover kind of creeps in, but this is just like boom, shame. People is have, that a natural? I, I yes. guess is that like a like a biological thing, or is it because from shame because of your kid? I, as it has yeah, I, I'm going to say, well, let's think about it this way. First yeah. of all, I'm going to go back to what I said before, like all human behavior, everything. That's a yeah. genetic, some genetics here for sure. Um, but when would a human male ever be so far outside of a social system that he wouldn't be influenced that way? You know what I mean? Unless you were the mm -hmm. Unabomber or something mm -hmm. your whole life or lived in a cave or were yeah. a feral child, you'd always have people around humans that you're relating to that you would feel bad oh, <laughs> what you were just gotcha. okay, you'd right, right, feel right. You're, you're sort of disgusted yeah. with yourself i mean as a child you're rubbing out your mom's like dinner and you're like Fuck. yeah i know and so you know all our self evolves in the context of other relations there's no self without other humans right, right. it's what's being reflected back to us that we learn to develop a sense of self and wow. so of course when we do something that isn't consistent with the uh with the loving, loving gaze of our mother, might, might, yeah. might, might kind of watching feel Watching oh, VR right. porn in the fucking kitchen with the lights off. <laughs> yeah. You go, I barely can afford rent. What am I doing? Oh, wow. God damn. That was my cock firing off multiple rounds. Why? Because I took blue chew. Can you explain to me what blue chew is, please? Besides being Jesus and a chewable tablet, I'll tell you. It's a unique online service Whoa. that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis Whoa. and Levitra. Not Harry Potter spell, but in a chewable <laughs> tablet at a fraction of the cost. So look, here's the thing, dude. If you want to get bricked up, if you want to shing, if you want that iron shield yeah. on your fucking little meat rod, you got yeah, that no, little meat rod. It's fucked up. You got a big meat rod. I got a Vienna sausage. But you ever see? You ever see one of those uh, pieces of meat hanging in like a barn? That's my cock. Anyways, blue <laughs> chew. But here's the thing, dude. So it gets you ready for the shing. But but hear me out. What if you're what? listening? And you go, bro. I, I don't got trouble getting bricked up. Well, I, I got get bricked up to wearing tell pajamas. You. I got something to tell you, dude. Tell what me. about round? Uh, I don't know. Round two, Dose, dude. Round two. Oh, oh, let's go again, Charlie. The chocolate factory can't. I don't have blue chew, but now you do. Yeah. So chew it.
Charlie Track Factory. But dude, it's great. They ship it to your door so you don't have wow. to go to a CVS or write it. Uh, excuse me, where is the pharmacy? There's an old man in front of you and he's shaking his prescription bottles. Sir! <laughs> Sir! Did I shit? No. It's no. simple. It's Move easy. out of my it's way. Blue <laughs> I got to get my hard, my hard cock. Okay, and we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free. How, How much? much for free? You when you free? use our promo code SOCKS at checkout, okay? Just pay $5 for shipping. And that's bluechew.com promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free Holy Toledo. That's great. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring this podcast. God damn. Sam Real, comedian, has such a funny joke. He goes, I love relationship sex because after you finish, you look over and you go, okay, good. You're like, I still, this is, yeah. yep, n- no, no, no bad feelings r- here. That's right. And, and that's how it should idea. be, right? I mean, of course. Yeah. It's, we, it, it sounds really bad to say, but it's like this weird, like, oh, yeah, I want to, this feels right. Do women and, have post not regret? Uh, you have to ask women to answer it, but I, I've heard a Gabe? lot of, <laughs> a lot of complaining about, uh, that they feel unnaturally attached to that person and that right. bothers them and they don't like to be that attached and they shouldn't be that attached and they feel inferior or diminished by being that attached right. just by the act. Oh, and some don't, some are fine, some are like yeah. us. And women uh, generally, I think, are less um, conflicted about their sexuality, generally. Hmm. You were about to say something, I think one of us cut you off, about like the relationship sex post not regret. Oh, after. Sorry. No, well, I was just thinking about how much better it is, and how, yeah. how, and how difficult it is. Again, when you're you're bringing another person into a very intimate encounter, you right. don't really know how deep they're going to experience that experience. You're experiencing what you're experiencing. Oh, it's all in your own head, and it's it's all you know. Either I'm not in enough, or I'm in too much, or who knows? You know, it's God. very difficult. It's very anxiety provoking. <clears throat> yeah. It is. It, when you are with the right person, it, all those questions kind of don't come well, into if play. She's with, if she's feeling the same way back, yeah. what if she doesn't? Now what? Yeah, that's right. that's also the scary part, too, is when you finish, you don't have to post and regret. You look at her and you go, God, please have the same feeling as me. Yeah. Like, that's happened to me plenty of times. And, and, and women yeah. may be feeling the same. They'd have to speak to it themselves, but they are, I bet, are feeling something like that oftentimes. Yeah, this is uh, anecdotal, but oh, there's a big Reddit thread about this with like thousands of comments, and it seems pretty compelling. Read all thousand of them. <laughs> well, so it's like, uh, this one says, yes, I do. If I ever get weak and feel compelled to text someone for, to, for a booty call, uh, I get one off myself and afterwards I'm completely free of the temptation. So a mm. lot of women, it oh, seems wow. like they have a little bit more of the ability to like, all right, before I even go into this, let's like, I don't want to have the feeling. You yeah. Know? Mm. Wow. There you go. Don't let somebody else's phone vibrate. <laughs> Use the thing that you use to vibrate. And, and men don't appreciate how deep, how intense that stuff is. They, 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 you've got to be careful with it because it, right. it, you can hurt people, which is, again, what the regret is all about. Oh. Yeah, that's my like number one fear. And I like actively, now that I'm like newly single, I, I actively try to not, I, just, I call it like messing with someone's like feelings. I yeah. actively like, yeah. it, because I, I mean, obviously I don't know how that feels. Well, what, but I, so when I was really younger than you guys, when I was in my early 20s, they, there was a, te- my teens and 20s, we were fed a steady diet of men and women are the same. They want sex the same. They feel the same about sex. They have the same experience with sex. That was the message of the 70s and then in the 80s. Period. No exceptions. Except sometimes they would go, you know, women are are, are judged more harshly. So you have to help them by bringing them along into the sexual experience. Like yeah. as though by, by being seductive, you're being helpful. You know, it was just such bullshit. Yeah. And uh, we were all fed that crap. So I'm glad to hear you're more sensitive to the reality. Yeah. Yeah. It just, um, I, I mean, I was raised by like women. So like, I mean, obviously, again, I don't have any idea what it feels like, but I do know what it looks like for someone to be just like hurt through like my own, just like my own actions. I just never want anyone just to feel like that. So I kind of, I mean, I try to, obviously there's probably times where I fail. Right. But I I don't want to, I don't want to, I, 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 don't know how to balance this, but I don't want to let people off the hook by saying, well, it's going to happen, but it is going to happen. You're going to hurt people because that's the nature of, you know, of, of courtship and yeah. bonding and stuff. Right. People, you know, feelings don't mix and people make mistakes. It, it happens. But to be sensitive to it, I'm I'm delighted to hear you say that. So what's the best way to work around it? Just with being honest and not hiding emotions and understanding that like this might hurt now, but like, I think it's the truth <clears throat> or where you know, meet me in the middle. How do you feel about this? Because in dating, you're trying to find this person, but then in dating, you might what hurt somebody because you go, I don't feel this anymore. How do you navigate that? 
you, you open, transparent, honest, yeah, as, as much honesty. as you can, <clears throat> and recognize that it is a navigation, yeah. and you are navigating, and it there, and there are lots of mistakes, and it's yeah, gonna happen, that's like my biggest thing. I just like I just want to know that I found the one. Well, one thing I have noticed, I, I used to like dating when I was a lot younger, and mm -hmm. and I just approached it as I just like somebody I'm attracted to, and I get to hang out with. Just, yeah, let's just hang out. It's just just get stop so much focus on is this it or yeah, are we gonna have sex right yeah, take all that heat off and just hang out just with have and fun. learn it, it's so much you know, you know they, that used to be called dating right or courtship and that's all no you can't do that anymore because it's all sweeping sweeping right yeah. whatever <laughs> and, and but it's really healthy and it's really important you guys start to find out what you like who other people are how you yeah. fit with them they learn this uh, you actually build a deeper sense of yourself uh, that's how self evolves Correct. again a context so i i i recommend that most highly Wow. I think I, I, I tend to go very white or black. Like I either have to find the person or I can't find somebody. There's no middle ground of like just having fun, which is great to hear. If you can. I, and of course, right. you know, it, it tends to lead to more relationships and more dating and more stuff. It's just, I mean, I don't want you to say to just hang out with people just to hang out. I mean, it should be somebody you're interested in. Right. But, but put the focus there rather than the conquest beautiful right it kind of, yeah it kind of puts you more in like in the moment as opposed to like what's going to happen it's just right. healthier it's just it's, it's so much healthier and it, it avoids some of the stuff you guys are worrying about too yeah, yeah beautiful we have uh, some questions that people wrote right, in I'm in do yeah. that and then we'll uh, get you on your way does beautiful. that work this cool. has been so fun thank Good. you so much oh here, my yeah. pleasure so this is a submission from Dan Dan says um, I beat my meat too much and my cum turned red mm. I believe it is blood yeah, we call uh -huh. that blood. We call yeah. that bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and do I talk to him here? Or do I talk to? Uh, yeah, you can talk to him. Talk you to him here. Right head. All right. So yes, straight. that's bleeding, or it's called hematospermia. Hematospermia is not usually a big deal. Uh, it's it needs to be evaluated. You do need to see a urologist. People worry that it means cancer, and it can, but rarely does. Uh, and it's a sign that you're traumatizing your meat, right? Whether, whether <laughs> it is tenderizing, yeah, yeah. whether it's urethral, urethral yeah. irritation or prostatic irritation, all of it is heading towards trouble. Uh, and what we, so you can get urethral strictures, you can get prostatitis, you can get urethritis, all these things can be part of excessive, uh, beating. And, <laughs> and to that point, you may actually have sex addiction, right? Or porn addiction. And that's a, that's a really intense problem. You might sort of look up online. There's a lot of zoom meetings. You don't have to even turn your camera on people oh, nice. that help you manage that kind of stuff called SLA, Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous. I love it. Beautiful. Man. I mean, yeah, this is, yeah, I don't have anything I had. Yeah. Um, all right, we I'm got a so, question. I was trying to wonder uh, how we would have answered that. Oh, we were like, man, hey, come on. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get on the sheets, get a tied to go pen. You yeah. good. I mean, you talk about beating me. I mean, maybe cook that shit at 375. Yeah, smash you know burger, what I mean? Keep smashing that burger. Yeah. Ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, we got a question. We should do that. How would we answer Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to like, leave the room for it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got a question here from Allie, and she says, uh, I've been sober from weed for over three years. Mm. Uh, if I swallow cum from a guy who smokes weed, would ah. I fail a drug test? Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't believe so. Congratulations on sobriety. My daughter's got a year and a half, so, nearly a year and a half sober ooh, too ooh. from weed. Weed is a, a problem for some people. It is taking people out because it's so powerful now, the stuff that's out there. So be, if you're dabbing, look into it. <laughs> once um, you bust out the blowtorch, you go, you once, yeah, once find your reflection. Yeah, and, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. sort of a sign that you're crossing yeah. into a different territory. Uh, I do. I'm sure there's some in semen, but I doubt there's enough to to uh, adulterate a drug test. Number one, and it's certainly not enough to get high. But however, amphetamine is concentrated about seven times the level of this of the blood. So amphetamine, and I've occasionally heard people insist that they get high from opiate exposure. So I, I don't know. I have an opinion about the opiates, but amphetamines you would you would get a dose of that. Amphetamines meaning wow. is that like Adderall? Meth. Meth. Adderall. So if you yeah. swallow someone's semen that's if been doing meth, you can get, meth, hard you can get on meth, high on then meth. That's the more- You will get a little bit. Wow. Thing. What's that? If you can get hard on Adderall or meth, that's the more important thing. It's a well, stimulant. Well, some people, some- it's, Stimulants are a very strange thing that way. Some of them, they shut people down. Yeah. As you might imagine. I am shut down. Other people get highly more aroused by it. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, because when I take Adderall, my penis looks like a Mike and Ike. It's it common. Is. It's common. Yeah. I mean, I literally am fucking myself when I'm I on Adderall. I pee down my leg. Take Adderall? Just for editing. Uh, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. You know, I'm just I'm trying to I figure out. Do it, I don't do it a lot. Do you real. know what the generic name for Adderall is? God's Help. semen. <laughs> Both funny answers. Thank you. Dextroamphetamine. So Dextro it's like amphetamine. It's like TH like like the, the virgin C B D of wheat. 
Uh, but that's strong. being kind to it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's, oh, it's a very it's close amphetamine relative. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. All right. I don't do it often. Yeah. yeah it's me more neither. like one of the congeners of uh, THC. You know, there are many different THC. <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah, right. more, more like one of those. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll cut it out. Mm. My mom just got diagnosed with, she's just turning 60 and she just got mm. diagnosed with adult ADHD and she has a bunch of Adderall. Yeah, I, and I'm like it's crazy to be you know, sixty on Adderall. Just yeah, I don't. The fuck I'm, not out of big, life. I'm not a big I'm a fan. If she uses it occasionally and is properly done, I guess. But I'm not a big fan of adult ADHD I think treatment it's daily. With stimulants. She takes it. It's what? It's daily. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it, it works. Does she have an alcoholic heritage? No. Somewhere? No. All right. Well, maybe it might work for her. But, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very cautious. I think it's adult, a really low dose. Adult ADHD. I'm would be curious. Super I'll cautious. Take some when I go back home. Super cautious. <laughs> See where you're at. <laughs> Um, all right, we got, we got a couple more. This is uh, this is from Mike, and he says, I'm insecure about my size, and it's affecting my marriage. I don't believe my wife when she tells me it's fine. All right, what do we do with these guys? So there's a weird thing about the male is that the penis becomes a, a, a surrogate for the self. If I feel Oof. diminished, my penis, I obsess about the size of my penis because I'm not, I don't feel big enough. It's right. weird how much that connection wow. is. Can you there. buy a Ford F-350? Yeah, and so and they can't be reassured even if they have a big penis, they start feeling still diminished, small. Interesting. Wow. Uh, and so, what do we do with this guy? How do we make him feel? Be- I, I I would say look mm-hmm. elsewhere than your penis. You know, what are of you course. doing with your career? What are you doing for work? What are you? Why are you feeling so diminished by yourself? Believe your fucking wife. She's, yeah, you're she's married. Not gonna, yeah, she's yeah. not gonna. She she is there because she wants to be with you. And and also real quick, like I know the emotion in the ocean. That's the only part that matters. But it really does. Like there are there are there, there some women's size really matters. Yes. right. It really does. And they have a they either have a preference or they really need that in order to feel sexually satisfied. Um, that's not a large number of women, but it's a sign. It's some, and uh, it's not his wife, or they wouldn't yeah. be married. They yeah. would not be married. right. Yeah. yeah, right. You wouldn't have even made and those it to the and those phase. that don't. And by the way, yours on Love Line, way more complaints about too big than too little. Way worse because way, way bit too big, you can't do anything about. You it can't just park hurts. a U-Haul in a compact space. It, it just hurts. Yeah. Wow. So let's be happy. Yeah, you're married. That's the best. I think. Look if, at your. Uh, your I don't want to say self esteem because that's kind of a loaded state, loaded term. But your sense of yourself in the world. Let's build that up. Hmm. Yeah, and let's start with how much your wife loves you and your cop. Yeah, thank let's you. Start with thank that. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, all right. So now we have a, the last one is a anonymous submission, a secret stock. So someone didn't want to put their name on this. And they said, uh, I downloaded an app to have an AI girlfriend. She sexes with me and sends me feet pics. This is Michael. Is this me? Did you do it? This is Michael. Blatant. Uh, so we, I did but some- But now that he knows about that, watch out. Yeah, 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 yeah right? Well, hey, I did, girlfriend. Yeah, so I, I, I did some research on it and found out it, there's, research. This, there's an app and it's called Replica. And it's essentially you <laughs> choose an AI girlfriend and you can text with her. Yeah. And she'll- wow. I, I'm very worried about this. I, I There's a lot of that kind of stuff out there. I've been thinking about what's going to happen when they can sort of recreate real connection- through AI, and then then if they add to it the VR stuff you guys are talking yeah. about, I, I, I don't Mixed know how dabbing we, in with that. You don't need to leave. I don't know how we fight that. I mean, because you can because like because yeah, if you think about like what Chat GPT is doing right now, right? It's like you know gaining all this knowledge essentially from people's like data, and then also like the internet, blah blah blah, right? But if you if you use that ability, and then also like if you like fill out like a you know whatever hundred question profile. And then so the 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 girlfriend quote unquote knows you and your preferences, then it gets real weird because then she's yeah. talking to you how you want how you wish a girl would talk yes, to you. Okay, it gets real personal. Yes, like, and it, and it's very satisfying, I'm yeah. sure. And so I'm noticing and I'm hearing and reading about data that suggests that um, a lot of men are not having relationships right. a lot, and that's going to get worse with this stuff for sure. What's you? My question to you guys is: what, What's your sense of why this is happening? What What I hear is <clears throat> essentially that men feel men have been sort of they're scared. They don't want to be seen as a misogynist or abuser or Me Too or anything. That's where it started, mm, yeah. and then it became I feel diminished and not worthwhile because males are <clears throat> no bueno, uh, and relationships are a lot of work. And I've got this kind of stuff and I've got the VR So I'm just going to just go with this. I'm fine with this. Yeah. I think it's the easy route. It's also, it's kind of like, it's unrealistic. It's like where you're bowed down to, you're the king, you're this and that, you're that. With the VR. With With the the VR and the, and the chat and everything. It's like, you know, but what do we need to change that? I mean, really it's a, it's going to be a problem because it's like, like 60% of men or something are just like checked out. It's crazy. 
And uh, I, I, I think it's what you. Not me. The, I want love. I think it's a little bit of what you said to that the last gentleman, where it's like we need to build up value because I think it's a very big value evaluation in, in problem being a male, and being a uh, uh, being a male, being a male specifically. You like what what do you, what do you actually add to the community and 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 the ecosystem? Because is the to your second thing you were saying how at this point sort of the the male is sort of like squashed in like culture. It's like males, you're bad or whatever. Yep. And I think that's like permeating all males, 100%, all young males. So, 100%. So I think the first step, in my opinion, is to sort of like- Listen to Andrew Tate. Listen no. To, no. But well, like, that's where but, that shit comes from. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's the, the, that's oh, the well, reaction. Well, there's a pendulum yeah. that's yeah. far too left and yeah. far too right, yes. where it's like, I'm too scared, but I'm too alpha. Where's this middle ground? Yes. yes. But yeah, but does your, that's why Andrew Tate exists. That's why Jordan Peterson exists. That's oh, why there's people that are like, oh, these are like, you know, masculinity is not evil. And right. I think like, Obviously, we need to dice it up. Well, and thin. by the way, a lot of the women are complaining. Where are the males? Where are the yeah. men? Right. I, I need a man. Where are they? They're right. being, you're all being told to keep that under wraps. They don't want to hear about that. They don't yeah. want you to know how your you know, your feet and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're <laughs> heal about it. Yeah, we'll block all women from this episode. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think I, I'm going to predict that this will create a big reaction, this little conversation, both from men and women, because I'm this hoping. is the problem of your It is so time. true. It's men and, and it, shit, it's but hard, I need a real it man. It is fucking heartbreaking to me for everybody, for everybody your age. You should be having a good time. You should be sharing with the people you know your age, male, female, whatever your preferences are, and 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 enjoying your youth. And instead, you're everyone's afraid of each other. And yeah, it yeah, is it's, interesting. It's, it's terrible. It's awful. Yeah. And also, it's like and then, then fucking the the that, apps are making things worse. Yeah, that's, everything's that's, stimulation is so yeah, quick. So ten percent like, are having a bunch of sex, but no relationships really. And it's right. like it's like a mess. And it's like everything is behind the phone so you're like almost intensifying your like quote unquote scaredness of the opposite sex yep. where you can you can sort of dip your toe in and feel a little bit satisfied with this but it's not real nothing so real. back to my thing about just spending time having fun dating spending yeah, that that's where yeah, that yeah. advice comes from correct you need to get back to in the flesh in space bodies in space are very important for human beings and human health and human flourishing yeah you can let the phone and the app get you there but then separate it from there so what was this episode going to be called? God's uh, yeah. Pavlov's come. Pavlov's come. Can we just switch it to human flourishing or something? Yeah. <laughs> solving, solving, dot, 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 solving problems for the youth. Of course, <laughs> we would never do that. Oh, AK, we, the a, AKA Pavlov's come. I'll, I'll, I can I can I can settle with that. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna sign <laughs> off. <laughs> we'll put it in chat GPT what we should title yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and it'll be Andrew Tate's come, and it'll do <laughs> no, no, a million no. views in a day. That wasn't as clever. That's not as yeah. clever. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a little gross. But YouTube will love it. Yeah, Doctor Drew, this is been. This has awesome. been so great. Good. I'm glad you guys invited me. Thank you. Who okay. set this up? Somebody from uh, we, yeah, yeah, we we've been wanting to have you for a while. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't remember how you got through to me or we would, hit up would, we hit up uh I think we're all uh, rep by the same agency. So oh, okay. Yeah, so I they got we, me. I, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um yeah. but yeah, again, thank you so much. I, everyone's gonna love this. You're good. awesome. Well, and do you have anything to to plug? Yeah, I mean, I never know what the hell I'm doing. I I, I don't know. You know, you know what I mean? I'm Call your wife. I've been yeah. Uh, but she, uh, her show, her show is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We, on Wednesday, in particular, I'm teamed up with another doctor who I disagree with a lot of the things she oh, did, nice. which is interesting. And we're talking to a lot of the people that are have been canceled through the pandemic. But oh, now wow. I'm getting canceled because I dared to talk to these people, which is Oh, interesting. Ridiculous. By giving a canceled person a platform, thus then, canceled. Then I get canceled. But wow. it, I, I don't believe, I believe in, you start putting people down their information under wraps it makes people paranoid and it makes people have all kinds of crazy conspiracies you bring it to the sunlight that's my yeah, strongest January opinion <laughs> <laughs> any, event, <laughs> any event uh there's that uh after dark dr after dark check it out it's all at drdrew.com but that streaming show is at drdrew.tv and i have a show with corolla still three days a week yeah i love that i did his show yeah. a couple months ago yeah and yeah. he and i do a thing dr adam and dr drew show and there may be a Dr. Drew podcast that survives. We're sort of moving that around. We'll see where that show ends up. So Beautiful. But um, You're all over. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of different things. I, I, too much. Too much. It sounds yeah. like so much. It, well, thank you really for taking the time. To, I'm practicing medicine very, very little now. And and practicing medicine is so hard. I yeah. used to do that 14 hours a day for wow. years. Wow. And um, it, this is all pleasurable. Come My last that. question. Okay. Uh -oh. Athletic greens. What? Do you know about athletic greens? No. Never mind. Tell me about it. what is that? I want to know. Oh, it's just uh, they're a big podcast sponsor for most places, but you like just take it's like it's one scoop and it's got all your dietary, your vitamins. Oh, your, I, I, stuff I, like that. Is is that stuff like do you just pee it all out? Or you go, oh, your body. I have to look. Own at, I I don't. I take a fair amount of supplements myself. Okay. Um, because they sponsor podcasts, I take it every day, and I don't feel any different. But if I, well, but you're, mentally, for the young, for the young male particularly. 
you're like a flux capacitor. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you don't really need supplements or anything like that. But when you, as you get towards 40s, 50s, 60s, it becomes actually important, I think. Okay. Uh, cool. And I, I would, I, and of course, if you're somebody, like there are people in this world that hate fruits and vegetables, right? They just don't like I them or can't them. seem to find them. For them, they should be doing something like this yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and, you know, I take fish oil and I do all the supplements and things. And yeah. Beautiful. I, I was seeing if you had a take on I that. Do, I do, I do a thing called uh, True Niagen, which is an NAD supplement. I keep hearing about this. Uh, when people when people tell me I look young, I always think God, I've been taking that stuff for like twelve years. I keep thinking, I wonder if that's it. I don't you look know. great. Yeah, so yeah, you look awesome. I'm so sorry. I'm old. You, just, you How look old are great. Sixty four. You yeah, look fucking, fucking phenomenal. Old. Oh, I'm so sorry. to Take one more second of your time. Yeah, this jolt in mind. I drink these. Oh yeah, all of the time. Yeah. Can What's you worse, my cute can you little Adderall me? benders every once in a while? What kind that? of benders? Little Adderall. Can you They're not benders. <laughs> Hold on, we're real I just, quick. I just, if I have a long flight, I just want to know if I have cancer. He drinks. He drinks like three this of those. This is not going to cause cancer. Okay, is that what you asked? No, no. Well, just in general, just can you look at that and tell me that I'm, I'm going to be fine? But you have what? I, I've never I, really examined this carefully. I uh, have. I you, I probably average about. I'm 1. a caffeine. Point. I'm a caffeine advocate. Same. Great. Okay. Me too. A caffeine reduces the risk of, well, coffee at least reduces the risk of Parkinson's, dementia. And I think it's largely caffeine reduces your appetite. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it improves your muscle performance. I'm a, I'm a caffeine advocate. Um, everything in here looks okay. It's kind of a big chunk of uh, pyridoxine. And, and so the, so I worry about the niacin and the pyridoxine. Pyridoxine gets a little liver toxic at higher doses. So okay. that's the only thing that I would worry about here. So if I have. Great you know, two point thank uh, horrible. If I have like you know two point six, two point eight of these a day, you know it's it's okay. I think you're fine. Yes, you're fine. <laughs> you heard it Beautiful. first. I'm fine. Doctor Drew, thank you so much for coming thank on, guys. taking Pleasure. time out of your schedule to come down and uh, do the podcast. This is really, really a great episode. So fun. Thanks so much. Really going to love it. Absolutely. One more thing, guys. We need your help. We did a little audience survey help. for you guys just to see what type of content you like. Where'd you see us? All that stuff. The link is in the show description. So go click it. Let us know everything, please. We love you. Feel free to fill it out. If not, no obligations. We'll go fuck ourselves. Hey, we're just trying to make you laugh. Hee hee ha ha.